Hey y'all, it's Madeline from Rock Sauce Studios with another Figma Fridays video. Today we're gonna to be um, talking about showing data using the ellipse tool, both in this pie chart format, as well as in this uh, circular progress bar format. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hit the O key on my uh, keyboard to just bring up the uh, ellipse tool here. And I'm gonna click and drag and I can hold shift to make this um, constrain the, the width and the height. So I'm just gonna make a few circles here. I'll just um, click and hit alt and drag uh, on my Mac to make a few of these. Um, and my first step is going to be to change these colors to be what I'd like them to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just stack these on top of each other. So in order to get this um, little segmented effect, when you select a, an ellipse that you've created, a little node will appear that says arc. So when I click on that, um, I'm actually able to drag and create this little Pac-Man effect. Um, and once I have begun dragging that, um, these other nodes appear. This is start and this is sweep. The start will kind of rotate the circle around its middle axis for me. And the sweep um, is where I can continue changing uh, what this angle is. And I can change the percentages up here at the top right. So if I wanted this to be exactly 38%, um, I could do that. And then if it moves from where I wanted it to be, um, I can always just drag the, uh, the start and the sweep. All right, so I've got one portion done and then I am gonna go ahead and uh, adjust this second one. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm just I'm gonna be kind of random with my percentages, but you can get super particular. Um, and there it is, it's pretty simple. And this second um, way to show data with the ellipse, with the, which is the circular progress bar, um, I can once again just hit my O key, or you can of course go up to uh, this drop down of shapes, um, and click and drag and hit shift. And I'm gonna make this background uh, white, and then I'm gonna click and hit alt and drag. I can also just hit duplicate, um, or I can hit uh, command D to duplicate. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this the color I want it to be on top. Um, all right, and so I've got my purple on top of my white. I'm gonna grab my arc and place it where I want it to go. Um, put it right about here. And there's a third node we haven't looked at yet, which is ratio. And you can very simply just click and drag this and it will change um, the ratio of your ellipse. And I can make this a lot longer by grabbing the sweep. And then I can also get this nice rounded corners effect by going up to the corner radius and just bringing that up. So there you go, pretty simple.